Hello everyone, this is H to the Husky Husky here, and I'm going to be doing a quick Zerg tutorial on just kind of a standard roach opener, which you can actually use in any matchup, all three of the matchups you can do early roach builds like this. And so what I'm going to be doing is just working towards 10 out of 10 supply, and then once you're at max 10 out of 10, then you go ahead and get your first overlord. And one thing I want to mention really quick, when you're scouting with your first overlord, and especially on maps like this where you have really close spawn locations, you have to make sure that when you're sending that overlord to your opponent, that as soon as you see their building, turn around that overlord right away if you want to hide where your location is. Now, if you're playing someone who you might expect could be doing something sort of cheesy and giving your location away as not being that important, then go ahead and scout the rest of their base. But just kind of a little tip, like right now, you would just be able to barely catch the corner of their building, and you can turn around before they'll even know you're there. But he wasn't actually spawning there, but that's just kind of a helpful tip. So now I have the overlord on the way right now, and then once that pops, you're going to go ahead and make three drones because because you should have three larvae by then, and that is going to put you at 13 uh, supply there, and then this is when you're going to start saving up for your spawning pool. I do want to say that there are a lot of other builds you can go where you get a much earlier spawning pool, and this one's a little bit more risky, because you're not going to have those early, super early zerglings, and so... You, you definitely need to be aware of that, that you are a little more vulnerable as your spawning pool is going to be coming out a little bit later. Now continue to make drones until around 15 supply, and then once you're at 15, that's when you want to preemptively make another overlord, because you have to prepare for not only roaches, but also queens and more drones. And then once you are right around the, so I'm at 14, and you want to go ahead and get your gas before your overlord, which is what I'm doing right now, is you want to make sure to get your gas early enough, because we are going to be getting roaches, and of course they do cost gas, and you can get your roach Warren as soon as your spawning pool is done. So that's uh, something you have to keep in mind is to get that early gas and we will be putting three drones in that gas as well. Do note that the build order is going to be in the or I guess it's a bottom bar now. It's not really on the side. I did just start my overlord there. I can't see the exact numbers but again the build order that I use will be in the bottom bar and then now that the, the spawning pool is done you have to get a queen as well as two zerglings and then you should almost have enough for a roach warren as well with all of that going on and there's the early overlord. And one thing I like to do is put the Roach Warren behind my minerals because, say, they scout you a little bit late, you can actually deny scouting of the Roach Warren right away once, once you get your Zerglings out. And another thing to note is that I actually prefer to get very few Zerglings, so two or four at the max. Uh, I think most people actually do end up getting six Zerglings. It's just kind of a personal preference to save that larva for a more of an economy as well as uh, getting more Roaches just in a little bit. And so once the Queen is done, which she is spawning right now, inject your larva as quickly as you can. You really can't do that too fast. You want to do it right away because the roach warren is going to be done before these larvae pop off and you want those roaches ASAP. Now once you get out your first, or once the roach warren is on is done and on the way, you do have two roaches making and you should have enough supply for about, I think, a total of around eight roaches. And so once you start getting towards the end to where you're maxed out, then you're going to be making another overlord and so, yeah, and so basically you're just going to be continuing to pump roaches here and doing your inject larva as much as you can. And then once the first two roaches are out, I usually go ahead and block off my ramp. And I didn't scout the computer this game because he happened to be in the last place I scouted. But scouting is always ideal. So say you're playing a Protoss player. If they're going straight to Immortals, you don't want to do this build. If you see a Terran player who is going Mass Marauder, you're going to have a heck of a time dealing with that as well. And there's my Overlord spawning. And just make sure to continue to inject Larva as well as, yeah, using and then moving out right now so that the reinforcements will catch up. So I'm moving out without, with about six, I believe, roaches and a couple of zergings on the way. And so this is exactly the timing window I usually like to do to put on the early pressure. Now you do have quite a few extra minerals, which I still continue to use for roaches, and I will be expanding here pretty soon. But with the roach or with the larva breaking off now, I, I just need a little bit more gas, and I continue to make roaches. And then this is pretty much when you do your timing attack to try and get some early map control. And if you're playing against your friends, or you're playing kind of in the lower, like, copper or silver leagues or whatever, this build order is actually really, really strong. You want to work on getting the roaches out as fast as you can, and then just attacking your way to victory. Now, in the higher tier of play, so say in Platinum League, you'll almost never just straight up win with this build, but I, th I honestly think that this is the strongest build to use at the beginner level, because roaches are by far the strongest tier point one five unit. They kill every single tier 1 unit in the game, and so you want to just rush straight to roaches, and you'll pretty much always win if you're in 
and the lower tier games. Now again, if you're in a platinum level game, you're probably not going to win with this build. You may actually lose quite easily, especially if they counter build it. And I'm going to be going ahead and getting my expansion here right around 34 or 35. And I should be having another Overlord on the way if I don't already. But regardless, this is a good time to expand. And if your attack doesn't work, you're really going to have to tech switch either to Mutas or Hydralis because then your opponent is going to start hard countering your Roaches, which can are hard countered by... They are hard countered by the Marauders as well as Immortals. So this build, though, is very good in ZBZ as, I mean, you can't go wrong with Roaches in ZBZ. And do note how I'm taking some extra drones off the gas because I did get a little ahead of myself there. And so anyways, that's pretty much it. It's just basically massing up roaches. I really recommend this build if you're playing Zerg and just starting out the game. If you're playing at the lower leagues, you will almost always win with this build because roaches are extremely powerful unless you know how to counter them. So that is pretty much going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be hopefully doing more in-depth tutorials, not just openers. But really, this is just a Zerg opening build on how to get your roaches out fairly quickly without suffering your economy too bad. So anyways, that is it. And I will see you guys guys next time.